What's up guys, Cajun here, and today I wanted to talk about, uh, kind of, you know, why I haven't really been streaming as of late, um, so, I, I actually have IRL friends, I know, right? Um, so, I've been hanging out with, you know, people from, uh, the School of Music, and, uh, you know, my friends from back home that are now coming to Louisiana Tech, um, a lot more, and that causes me to not have as much time to stream and everything, uh, especially on the weekends. Um, and during the week, sometimes we do stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's really, you know, one at least one reason why I haven't been streaming. Uh, and then on days that I don't do stuff like that, um, I really didn't try to finish the Critical Pass or stream the end of the Critical Pass because... I really didn't, um, I really didn't feel like playing Critical Ops. I, it was, it was just frustrating. Uh, not that the game is, you know, dying or, you know, dead or not fun anymore. It's just that, you know, with the hackers and the AFK people and stuff like that, um, it's really hard to have fun. Like with the auto clicker people, it's hard to have fun in a game where people are just jumping around and crouching. So, uh, I know CFE has been looking into something to stop that. Uh, it's kind of hard to, um, cause it, it's not like they can cancel, you know, third party apps, uh, you know, using third party apps at the same time. Cause then that would cancel out discord. That would cancel out screen recorders as well as, you know, auto clickers. Um, you know, maybe there's a way they can detect it um, and just, I, I don't know, dude. Uh, you know, ho hopefully they find, you know, hopefully they find out and figure out a way uh, to, to get it done and, and finished. Uh, and, and, you know, to where that doesn't affect people anymore. But I know that was the reason why I, I didn't want to play the Critical Pass or want to grind the Critical Pass, at least the rest of it. I got to, to 41 or 40 or whatever. I got the sushi skin, uh, which is one of the skins I wanted, actually. Didn't get the pizza skin. I wanted that one. Didn't get the uh, the MR or the, the Axe skin. So, um, you know, that kind of upsets me. But I know that next pass, hopefully, hopefully all this stuff, you know, doesn't happen to where, you know, pe you know people don't download auto clickers, which... I don't know, people People that are that lazy, uh, I don't know, man, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully weekly, uh, weekly challenges help too, um, you know, maybe people will decide to play, um, you know, get, using that for XP rather than just crouching and getting XP, um, hopefully, you know, hopefully something works, um, that, you know, hopefully something that the devs do work, uh, and then another reason, of course, is that the hacks, you know, they're, they're back, or at least they were. Um, I know they've been, you know, doing some server stuff. Some people have speculated, I've seen on Reddit, that uh, hackers are in their own um, their own rooms, their own servers now. Um, and I really haven't seen any evidence of that. So, you know, I can't. I can't say if they are or if they aren't. Um, it definitely doesn't seem like it. Um, but I, I don't know, boys. Um, hopefully, you know, come 1.5, 1.6, we have some new stuff that'll that'll help that. Um, and you know, I'm I'm kind of hyped for 1.6 because 1.6 is is looking to be a big update. There, you know, because. A lot of this stuff that's going to be in 1.6 was supposed to be in 1.5. So, you know, you never really know what's going to happen. Um, but Bobby, straight from the Critical Ops Twitter account, uh, 1.5.0 sneak peek. Uh, due to issues with development, we had to leave some features out of 1.5 release. But it means that 1.6 update in May is going to be marvelous, which is great. I could use some downtime after... Uh, I get back home from school um, to to die into critical ops uh, to die in critical ops um, and next update speaking of which um, 
next update should have anti-cheat fixes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, anti-cheat improvements. So, I mean, they just... Really, they, they need to get faster with the anti-cheat stuff. I know it's hard, and I know it, it's difficult. Um, and I know it's a, a long, grilling process, but, you know, it's killing Ranked. It's killing Diffuse. It's killing everything, really. Um, it just... It really sucks to, to have to play with people that hack and... You know, Critical Ops has a lot of potential, but if it keeps going down this road, if people keep hacking and, you know, they can't patch the hacks quickly and they can't, you know, can't fix the people trying to cheat the Critical Pass, then, you know, there's nothing you could really do. I mean, the only thing, you know, the only answer that I could give would be to take XP away from matches and only do weekly challenges for XP. Which, in that case, you'd have to give a ton of XP for that. Uh, and not only that, but daily missions. You'd have to give a ton of XP for daily missions. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, hopefully 1.6 will be good. Um, and I, I don't know. It's just, it just seems like Critical Ops is going in this downward spiral. It, it You know, with... A couple updates ago, it, it felt like it was coming back up. You know, when the Vector got here and there were no hacks and stuff, it, it felt like it was going up. And then hacks came back, you know, this last critical pass. And it just sucks, man. I, I, I know I keep saying it, but it, it just it sucks ass that, uh, that, that this is the way that the game's going. Um, you know, I'll... Like I said, I'll I'll support CFE until, you know, they either make a new game or, you know, or they decide to make a new game or if they keep going with Critical Ops, you know, I'll support them. Um, and yeah, that that's really the reason, you know, that's really the main reasons why one I didn't finish Critical Pass and two, I didn't really uh, I didn't uh, what's it called uh, stream that much the past couple weeks. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys, uh, I don't know, hopefully you guys finished the pass, I know Future did, uh, I know, I think Carlos did, a couple of others did, uh, but I also know a couple, uh, a few of you that are at least in the Discord, by the way, if you haven't checked out my Discord, go do that in the description down below, uh, I know a couple of you haven't, um, or don't like mobile games anymore, don't want to really play mobile games anymore, uh, and that's definitely quite all right. I mean, I don't know. Like, once I get a PC, hopefully at some point, um, then I'll definitely start playing CSGO. Will I stop playing Critical Ops? I don't know. Um, if the game is still fun to me, yeah, I'll play Critical Ops, because... See, the thing about it is, I've, I've been playing CSGO for about a good little bit now, because I figured out this thing called Parsec uh, that I could use to connect to my friend's computer. So I've been, I've been using that for a good while now. I haven't played in a, in a minute, but, uh, you know, I was playing CSGO on his computer, and, you know, I still felt like I wanted to play Good Ops, you know what I mean? So... I don't know, even if I do get a PC, stream, you know, start streaming CSGO, start making CS videos, it doesn't mean that Critical Ops is going to be going from the channel, definitely, uh, because, I don't know, you know, that's my game, and I don't want to leave it, so, uh, anyway, guys, you know, thanks for watching, I know this is kind of a rambling video, and this kind of has gone on for too long, but, uh, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, um, and, yeah, let me know, let me know which games you guys want to see, I've been playing Stardew Valley on stream, um, that's more of a stream game, uh, maybe when COD Mobile comes out, I'll, I'll, I'll do some of that, um, if I can handle it, but, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.